biosphere reserves are the special protected area recognized internationally for its unique biodiversity and its ecosystem and to establish to promote both the conservation and the sustainable development according to unesco united nation education and cultural organization they are the learning places for sustainable development and are the places that provide local solution to global changes biosphere reserves are the areas of terrestrial marine and coastal ecosystem not particularly constituted by any parliamentary law but recognized by unesco's man and biosphere program man and biosphere program mainly incorporates with man for sustainable development and the conservation of ecosystem this man and biosphere program also an intergovernmental scientific program to establish the scientific basis for the improvement of the relationship between people and the environment in india national biosphere reserve program initiated in 1986 to make the balanced relationship between mankind and the nature this biosphere reserve also provide a facility for educational research training and its awareness also the multi purpose protected area especially both flora and fauna indian man and biosphere reserve committee a key body for managing and conserving india's biosphere reserves the committee constituted by central government ministry of environment forest and climate change which identifies new sites advises on policies programming lays down the guidelines reviews and its progress conservation with economic and social development the protected area with integral human development which includes coastal and land environment which people as an integral component of the system this biosphere reserve encompasses wide variety of ecosystem typically serve as the living laboratory for researching testing and sustainable development practices we can consider sundarbans and manas biosphere reserve as the example these are the designated areas where conservation efforts are focused on preserving diverse ecosystem including forest wetland wild habitats while it also supporting sustainable livelihoods and the global network for scientific exchange which constitute the world wide network linked by international understanding for the exchange of scientific information the ecosystem as the structural and functional unit of biosphere reserves these biosphere reserves are typically have three zones as shown in the figure they are core zone buffer zone and transition areas core zones are the innermost undisturbed area of biosphere reserves these are maybe a national park sanctuaries protected and regulated mostly under wildlife protection act 1972 and free from human pressure and settlement a suitable habitat for numerous plants and animal species including higher order predators and may contain centuries of endemism often conserve wide varieties of economic species and also represent important genetic reservoirs having exceptional scientific interest a buffer zones surrounds the core zone and limited recreational activities fishing grazing tourism permitted in this region human settlement also admissible it adjoins the 
code zone and the activities are managed in the area in accordance with the protection of the code zone in its natural condition. Research and educational activities are to be encouraged. Peripheral or most outermost part of the biosphere reserves are the transitional zones. Liberal human activities, settlement, intensive recreational activities are permitted. Croplands, managed forest, area of intensive recreation, tourist and other economic activities are the major characteristic of this region. IUCN categorized category 6 type of protected area that is the protected area with sustainable use of natural resources. The next videos will discuss about all the biosphere reserves in India especially providing details about their location, importance of their conservation. Thank you.